Psycho review, final episode. I'm gonna say right that it's uh, that I like the whole friendship means defeat, right? In Mob Psycho, how it's instead in Mob Psycho, Mob is like I can feel your pain. I also been there. I can recognize like, your your solitude, your lack of friendship, and how you were the only people with powers. You had no one next to you, so I can relate to you, and I feel sympathy and empathy and so on, right? And he instead talked to them. Yeah, so I, I like that thing. It felt, you know, like when he's crying there, and he's like, "Oh, I can't help you. So I feel sad because I can't like be there for you." So all of that was great. I love that. I think that is the kind of the heart of Mob Right. Uh, much more than the bat. Some also people like the bat. I think the bat was great animated, but personally, I'm not saying it is a bad bat episode at all, or generally the anime. I think it's a great bat all the time. But for me, right, my favorite moment of this is, especially the massive burning, of course, I would say is, you know, the moment where Reagan, of course, does the TV thing, right, and then Mob is like, you are a good guy. <laughs> I always knew you were a good guy like that. That was happy to the moment. That, that's my, my, my favorite moment, right? So, I, so that, that's what I really love in Mob Psycho, particularly. And uh, so not saying that the battle, battle was great, right? But I, but I really love that Mob is crying there. It shows you his, you know, his personality, his character more, right? Than the, him being able to like throw buildings, people, so on. Yeah, I feel that's interesting. Uh, So yeah, I mean like, um, so, um, yeah, but it was, so I think it both, exactly, I think it had both, how would I say it, it's both an amazing battle, right, it's really well animated, it's Saku, yeah, it's Saku animation, Hall has all that going for it, especially the twisting scene, it was kind of gruesome though, but especially that's it, like, <laughs> he gets into becoming a bomb there. That was very, very well done. It looks crazy. And then later on, when they both in this white aura, right? And they kind of, yeah, they kind of more flex each other. All of that was extremely well done. And also, he kind of lost it because he crazy as well in the middle there. Uh, and all, yeah, and also when he is burning and you kind of see his legs and so on running, that, that was also very amazing, right? So, all of that was amazing animation style. And at the same time, the, the anime is very good, right? Because it has that emotional feel to it. Where I feel some other animes will have good actions. It's kind of like, here's the good guy, yeah, he's fighting the bad guy. And it's like, whatever, right? But here's more like, here's the good guy. And he's like, I don't want to fight you. Can we be friends instead? Yeah, and he's trying to talk to him. And it's that mob feel to it, right? Why it's a great battle. So it feels even more impactful and more emotional as well. And also being like an amazingly well animated battle. So it is definitely, again... One of the best fights this season, right? Very, very good fight. And has both that, like, you no, know, the, the brawl of it and the brains of it. So, very good episode. Whatever, whatever. whatever. It was amazing. The first half of course, we all agree with that. And um, then I have all the yokes, right? So, so I liked it. I, I liked it too. They didn't do like a 20 minute battle. Then they did like a 10 or so minutes, roughly, right? And then they got into more yokes, some characterization of all the characters, right? Showing off the supported cast, so on. I really like that. So I think that's a great ending to it. So like a good, conclusive feel to it. Like for example, then seeing the. I mean, I love this guys. The <laughs> body improvement club. They coming in. Oh, it's so gonna trade. It's like no. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like let's do it, bro. And they keep the, yeah like that. That was super funny. Love those guys. And um, like generally stuff like oh I forgot my building was destroyed. Like getting home. Oh my god. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, and so on. Right. Or like, that guy's gonna repair the house, his 3 days on him. So a lot of good quirky jokes there. And of course in the end then we see Serisawa? Serisawa? Pronounce it correctly, I hope I am. Serisawa, Serisawa, yeah, Serisawa. I think right, he's back, right, Umbrella guy. He's back, being employed instead by, uh... How do I say it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like, um... How would you call it? The umbrella guy, I think it's very interesting, and that again is like damn it. Not only do I want season three, regardless, right? But see if they actually gonna hire a new person when he got hired there, that even more so speaks for I really want season three, right? Because now we actually have a new element at the at the Reagan office, right? So that awesome too. 
And he's all like, you know, Kaguya was sent by. And Mom, of course, like, I never had a Kawhi before. I can't deal with this. <laughs> make, you're making me nervous. So, all, all of that, that, I mean, you can see right away, it's going to be some new funny elements there, right? Some new jokes there. Of course, I guess the manga, uh, I don't know the manga's logo, right? So, obviously, you should keep reading it. It's going to be some good stuff there. Um, so, yeah, really want the season three, right? Really want season three. And the whole, like, boss power thing. I think it really is kind of, I see it more like, I look at like One Punch Man and I see it in the same way. I feel like that mob has the, you know, one psychic power, which is just endlessly better than everyone else. And 100% mob is always going to be stronger than any other character, right? Or like question mark mob, whatever. It's always going to be stronger. It's more that, I, I see it more like this, in my, in my opinion. I think it's more like the mob is not fighting seriously. That's how I see it. So even if Mob is, you know, maximum power scale, when he's really, really angry, at the beginning of this episode, when he's actually losing his personality, and then Ritsu gets back, right? But before it's happening, as soon as he gets back to crying and so on, you know, Mob is this like, nice kid trying to be everyone's friend, right? So he, even if Mob has, like, the godlike infinite power of psychic powers, he's never really using them. Even when he is at 100% power, he doesn't really actually use 100% power to speak, because it's always like, you know, Trying to be like, let's not fight, let's be friends instead. He was trying to kind of, you know, just talk it out and so on. He could, of course, just like, yeah, just twist them right away, right? But doesn't really do that. So I think that's the biggest thing for me. That it's always like, who could be Mob? It doesn't really matter. Mob is the, is the, you know, the infinite power that he just doesn't touch it, right? He doesn't do, do use, use his infinite power. He's kind of just doing it in a lower scale there. Um, I think that's my take on it, really. And of course, when it twisted him, then it was like Mob trying to do it, you know, seriously, right? Yeah. I will say that there is definitely, that's a good point. I think it definitely is something stronger in Mob, right? The whole entity thing, I don't really, I don't really buy that. For me, it's more like a personality thing. So there is this power, right, when Mob loses his, loses his shit, right, and goes into full level up, so to speak. And that is even stronger, because again, I think it's the same thing there. I think Mob has more power potential, much more, but he's always limiting himself, because he's too nice, right? So even when he is at 100%, like that kind of emotional spectrum, he's maximum emotional, so he like, unlocks his power, he's still using his powers in like a less efficient way. Until that, that's a very, of course, efficient way. But before that moment, before he actually was like, I'm going to twist you now, like a little do you know, a toy here. Before he did that, he wasn't really using his potential to the fullest, right? Even he has like, see what I mean? It's a difference between having 100% power in your glove and actually still punch someone, right? He's still doing like, uh, you know, like in that kind of way. So, uh, so I think it's more like that. And it's almost like the mob can always lose it, right? And, and we have that like, the evil, kind of like evil mob, whatever, right? We have that kind of personality back him. But I see that more as sort of an entity. I see it more as that is just mob losing his shit to me, right? Like that is his mob not just being 100%, but that mob is, or question mark, that mob is more, 100% is more like how much power should I use, right? Like an like anger meter. The other thing is more like he's so angry right now, or whatever, emotional, that he loses himself, right? Because you can be angry and be in control, and you can just be uncontrolled as a monster. Like, kind of like we saw with the bad guy when he's going all like, you know, burning and so on, right? That is kind of him, right, going into a stage there where he is, you know, just losing his personality and becoming like a mindless beast, right? I think so that is kind of like what Mob is going there. You, you, like he said there, Mob, I can't let the power control me. I have to control the power, right? So I think that's how it is more. How there is like no second mob really. It's more like just the li limit of how much is, con is, is, is he still mob, right? Until it becomes crazy. As we see, man, in reality, people are fighting and so on. I know a lot of people, I'm, I'm kind of like that in an actual fight, right? Where I am usually don't do anything. I'm just very calm. You can punch me. I like that, whatever. But eventually, if you push me far enough, it just goes down, right? And I just go, you know, burst again and then I just kill everyone. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like that, right? And I feel that Mob is doing that where he's like, all staying calm, right? And the 100% thing is really the same thing as this like endless rage, right? And eventually it goes into like, as the beginning here, when he's like, ah, I'm gonna kill everyone. He gets into that kind of personality, right? 
and that is more like you know the, the yeah his eyes are just dead right and it's like I just kill anything around me yeah full berserk right full on rage mode, um, so uh, I think it's more like that it's more like he's afraid of turning evil right I think it's more like that he's afraid of turning evil he knows that if he lets the powers kind of like of course because we see the bad guy here it's like a reflection of himself right. It's like his bad reflection, right? And we see him like the more power he got, and the more not his power as psychic powers, but more power as in the society, the more and more corrupt he became, right? And then he like used his wife and so on, whatever. Actually, I don't really use his wife that much, but uh, something like that. Um... Yeah, I think that's a great point. That's a great point. But exactly, mob is mainly just trying to always just win, right? So it's more like the level of mobs fighting style is or fighting level is more what level you are, right? It's, it's that pretty much how it is, right? Uh, I think it's too. So if your if your enemy has over nine thousand power, right? Mob also has over nine thousand power. Mob just sets himself at the same level, you slightly higher, right? Um, he, just, he just tries to like aim at just like uh, befriending you. Yeah, he just tries to like you know contain you right there. That is mob's thing. Just the one I fight, and just aiming to just stop you, right? Yeah, that, that that's so the whole like whatever empathy mob might have and so on. For me, that's just like the empathy for me is just when he would lose control and stop caring with other people, right? And as you said in the beginning, are you enjoying it, kid? Like me, yeah, because you're kind of getting into like wow, I can finally fight for real, right? Because of course, be as strong as mob is, you can never actually fight someone, right? Same with like One Punch Man, he can never actually enjoy battle, it's too easy for him, right? And if a mob is kind of like he can never enjoy battle, because everyone just dies, so <laughs> yeah, it's too easy for him also, right? You would hurt him too much. So in, the, in that moment, if it's like, I can actually fight someone, right? And they kind of trigger him also into that other personality, but more like an evil personality, yeah. I think something like that. But, but overall though, that's one of the best part in this episode, right? And in general of this last episode, that they are very similar. It's a big storyline here that they are very, very close related, right? Both him and the, the absolute bad guy. And then they keep, how I say it, they keep, because a little life choices, right? They're different, right? But they're very, very like similar, actually. And they have the, the childhood is the same, right? It's like I was alone as a kid and so on. So they have pretty much the same childhood until Mob then met Reagan and so on, right? And with him instead, of course, never met someone like Reagan, right? So it's, it's kind of like that. Um. <laughs> yeah, the protagonist of your own life. That that's a great thing. I'm the protagonist. You see me? Yeah, that's a great thing. Um, but yeah, but lastly, there is no season three that I know of. But there's an OVA. That's right. There's an OVA announced. Let's check it out. I can see it here on Twitter here. This is an OVA that was announced just like an hour ago, just before this. I have it here on Twitter. 100% uh, uh, mob here from Mob Psycho M for the production company. There is uh, an OVA. When is it coming? It doesn't say when it's coming here on, on their tweet, but yeah, they can out in like the end with them um, going to the hot springs on the episode. And we, of course, then see spoiler that we do see uh, the umbrella guys still about it actually with them in at the hot springs. So, that would have been a spoiler if so the first. <laughs> Luckily I didn't do that, but yeah. There is an OVA, that one is coming... Uh, why is there no date here? I'm gonna... Mm, original draft, director, no, no, no. Okay, I can't find it, it doesn't seem to be a date here, but yeah. There is an OVA coming, so that's gonna come at least. Uh, you can check it out and uh, so on. And uh, not much more to say though. They, just, they pretty much announced the OVA, right? Haven't announced a date, haven't announced the tree yet. But depends, as always, right? How much it sets to so one, of course. One is very popular, what they call the One Punch Man thing. So um, I would guess to be missing three after that OVA and so on. So probably at least in a year, and probably more than a year, maybe like two years from now. That would be my guess. As the last negative note here, I would guess that season three will f earliest. 20 earliest probably in two years from now that's probably season three given how it usually is uh one half year or something like that mm, at best probably about bare minimum a year at least um but yeah so i guess i might do a longer review talking about the whole season 
Anyway, see you guys hopefully tomorrow with Black Clover. A paint is going to be opening right. I can't wait for that. God, I love the openings in Black Clover. They are so damn good. <laughs> they are incredible. Uh, Black Clover, right? Best opening last year. Um, <laughs> <where's> my... <laughs> I agree. Where is my harem? It's like, why can't I? When I watch like Gubetani, right? And it's like, I was like a student. I had like perfect grade. Why can't I teach like super fine, super sexy quintuplets of math as well? I could have done that. We were my, you know, harem girls right when I grew up. Yeah. God damn it. Life is so unfair. Anyway, see you guys. Press the like button, subscribe, right? And yeah, tomorrow by Clover. And nothing else, I guess. Because everything else is over. It's going to be a uh, still here on Wednesday. There should be some new animals coming this week. At least uh, on Sunday and Saturday, there will definitely be new animals coming. Because they all start... Uh, at that uh, weekend thing. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys in that. Have a day for the rise.